scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey, hey everybody. everybody. Welcome to another episode of Training C. I'm Training. This is C. We have some world of whiskey in front of us. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Trini. This is C. And we have Indri. Oh, Indri. Which is international whiskey. That out. So new level. So good. Okay, so this is an Indian whiskey. There's some interesting stats on this bottle. First of all, what's the percentage there? This, you know. 46%. 46% 46%. 46% coming in I, hot. I normally would throw the tube, but I think but there's some info all the it. information is all, all poor. Do it. No, do it. Do a close up. Okay. Indri single malt, non chill filtered, no color added. This is the Trini expression, which they call the three wood. So Trini must mean like three or something. Tree. Trini is a Trinity. And <laughs> what that is, the three woods are first of all, bourbon. X French wine and PX sherry cast. That's cool. Cool. Can I go listen to this? Okay. Well, oh, sucks you pop. Once you pop, you can't stop, kid. Um, this is part of our August Dram Club lineup. Um, so we are sending samples of this out to all of our Dram Club members. If you want to join Dram Club, go to patreon.com slash trendy and C. And if you just want to join Dram or uh, Patreon. Patreon in general, it says little as a dollar a month. And then you just and give us your money. And well, But you're oh. entered in so many draws. We actually may be oh. giving a bottle of this away. In fact. It could be. It could yeah. be. Um, it says here, situated in the catchment area of the river Yamuna, nestled in the foothills of the mighty Himalayas, sits Indri, a small village where our distillery is located. This Verdant green is part. I don't know what that word means. Verdant. Okay. Part of the food bowl of India. Our fields the and malt maturing warehouses play host to the majestic Indian peacock that roams at will. Oh, peacocks are cool. They uh, they are very cool. Um, the extreme temperatures of the northern plain help our whiskey to mature faster naturally, which we know of other Indian whiskeys as well. This also means that the angels happily take a huge share of the spirit. We've heard yep, that. That's, and Indian however, does that. leaves us with an abundance of sweet tropical flavors and rich yes. natural color, creating unique mm. and complex characters in each barrel. Yes. So we know it's natural color. It's 46%. Non-chill filtered. It, it checks a lot of boxes. And, most Indian, and it's not that... Uh, most Indian whiskeys aren't aged. Like, they're, they're no age statement. Well, because again, they're younger. the angel share, right? Da, 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 da. So... I will add one more thing before we get sure. to the sipping of this, which I know is the only reason you're here. But Indri in Sanskrit refers to the five senses of Indriya. Smell, taste, touch, sight, and sound. Tight. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. get to it. So, um, initially on the nose, it is very like single malty vibes. Like I There's think... some single malt vibes, but it also has like this... Like... Plummy. Yeah, I get the I get the like, fig newtony. I get the fig newtony thing, and then it gets some kind of like a wet wood almost. Or and, something. and then whatever the tropical notes are talking about is to me, it's almost more like a like a buttered toast marmalade kind of vibe. Oh. Yeah, there's something like there. There's something kind of orange on it. Yeah, you sure. Know? And I was saying like almost like that mild caraway seed yep. thing that you get sometimes from like the true Indian single malts. Yes, or and, eating out at an Indian food restaurant. Oh, <laughs> but, but let's not get these Indian single malts confused with Indian whiskey because a lot of Indian whiskey is the blends. Yeah. And the blends that you get from India are pretty rough. A lot they're, of them... They're rarely would be considered whiskey in this part of the world yeah a lot of them are like distilled molasses mixed with a bunch of like blended scotch but, or something but there's some like really nice kind of like booming floral notes but it's almost like a like a spritz of of, of citrus and i think i feel like i feel the tropical vibes that they're talking about yeah. oh definitely yeah. there is a tropical nature i don't think it's quite as tropical as say like a paul john yeah. But it's got that vibe. Yeah, like the Paul John has more of a 
like a coconut it's a, dust yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, where this like, is a little yeah. bit like this tangerine is, and things. Paul John is on like this Cavalan tropical kind of vibe, yeah. and this is on more closer to a single malt scotch to me. Yes, but anyway, totally. let's okay. have, let's, let's have taste a sip. it. Okay. This is where it's almost amrooty. This this is where it's truly Indian whiskey. Because yes. the aftertaste, the finish on this, mm -hmm. that's where you kind of get that caraway seed, like that, like almost the cardboard tube. Sure. You know, like the nose you get. <laughs> that, that, that vibe, you know. yeah. But it it has a bit of a musty, dusty kind of thing at the, at the end of it. It's not as single malt scotchy on the on the palate. But like it's got like a graininess, but yeah. you can tell that it's distinctly, distinctively different. Yeah, this is like it's its, still, its own thing. It's still like this is an interesting whiskey. Very much. And so. thank you to the people of mm -hmm. Injury for sending this to. Yeah. I hope we're saying it right. To be honest, like I don't know, but um, we're always pretty reluctant sometimes with these new brands. New brands, and it's not that this is like. Uh, craft distillery necessarily but you kind of think that way when you when you get these new brands yeah and like this was actually a surprise because this is a, a tasty whiskey so here's the thing most established brands in the whiskey world that have been around for 50 100 200 years things like that like you know there's a certain level of like you're gonna get something that's that's decent the quality controls yeah when thing. you get craft it, it typically craft whiskeys are one of two. They're either really amazing yeah. or very bad. Yes. And it's very rare in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So this is one of those ones that's like, it's, this is definitely towards the side of amazing more yes. so than yeah, like this, the very this bad. This is a legit whiskey. <laughs> yeah. It's very yeah. good. Yeah. The so, nose is interesting. They present it properly. Yeah, it's it's or, you know, it, it's worth a try. It's not something you're gonna get disappointed by. It's yeah. something like, like it is different though, and it is unique. So it's like you have to go into it not expecting anything. Like you yeah, have to go I into mean, it with a fresh that that you're not getting a scotch, you're not getting a this, you're not you're getting something totally different and unique, but something that's worth. And a that's try. when you're gonna get surprised because yeah. I think we went into this going oh, okay. Yeah, we like tried like the after darks and some of these Indian whiskeys right. that the blends, the blends, and then you come to something like this, and it's like okay, and this is definitely this is definitely on the realm of the Amroots, the Paul Johns, the Rampours. Like for us, this yeah. is like part of the big four. Yeah, the big sure. four of Indian single, and that's pretty pretty uh, good company. You know, that's a yeah. good yeah, exactly good company. Okay. All right, um, this is fun. Um, click like, subscribe, leave a comment if you've had it, and um, check out our Dram Club and you can get samples of stuff like this. It's cool. Cool. Cheersies. <laughs>